Welcome to the American Falls Little Theater's virtual play, Today's News Tonight, starring Jordan and Denise Reynolds, Debbie Nybar, and Jill Bowers. We hope that you'll enjoy this funny show and have a good night. And don't forget to donate, scroll our page, find our Venmo, or call our box office at 208 339 0830 and help donate. Help us cover our bills, our monthly bills for our building. Also, our first show is coming up June 25th, Once Upon a Mattress. Um, performances are the 25th, 26th, 27th, and 29th. Without further ado, here is today's news tonight. Good evening. I'm Robert Katz. But since I know we'll be good friends, you can call me Bob. We welcome you to the very first premiere edition of our new news show we're calling Today's News Tonight, where we catch you up on all of the news of the day later in the evening. Tonight, we will be looking at a handful of stories from today so that you will be better informed for tomorrow, which is the next day that we will be covering in tomorrow night's broadcast, at which point it will once again be today. Right, so moving on. Our lead story tonight, which is from earlier today, is about the blackouts in the greater Chicago metro area. Here to tell us more about that is our field reporter, India Knight, who investigated the story earlier today. Thank you, Bob. The news of the day tonight is that Chicago is in the dark. A widespread blackout covered the greater metropolitan area today. I spoke with many city officials and utility personnel today who have been working on the situation all day and into the night. They have assured me that the city will be back online later this evening. That is, I spoke with them earlier today and they indicated that the lights would be back on later tonight, which isn't now, but will be rather late into the night, but not at the time that we are doing this live report. Currently, as of this reporting and as expected, the power still has not been restored in the Chicago area and work continues into the late evening hours with the hopes that later this evening or perhaps even earlier tomorrow Chicago residents will finally all be out of the dark unless they're outside of course in which case it will still be dark. Is there any hope that the lights of Chicago will be back on tomorrow night India at the night time of our next broadcast? It's hard to say Bob as mentioned at the time of this broadcast city officials were hopeful that the power would be restored before midnight tonight or which is to say before tomorrow morning rather, but there's been no meaningful signs of progress so far this evening. We will of course be staying on top of this breaking news situation and will bring you up to date news on any progress that will be made later in today's tonight and in the waking hours of tomorrow's today on tomorrow night's broadcast. Thank you, India. We now move on to weather with today's news tonight, Chief Meteorologist Breezy Fairweather. And I'm told by my producers that unfortunately we must begin this segment with our very first editorial note. You see, due to an unanticipated problem, as we were dutifully preparing for our world premiere broadcast tonight, we recorded this particular segment of our broadcast earlier this morning. The thought was to give you today's weather forecast tonight, which now it in retrospect has become somewhat problematic. Therefore, the weather forecast you're about to see tonight was earlier today in anticipation of this evening's broadcast so that we could bring you today's weather forecast tonight. And well, yes, we're uh, still working out a few things around here, it seems. Best laid plans, you know. Anyways, we now go to Breezy for today's weather tonight. Sorry. Thank you, Bob. Today's forecast will see rainstorms developing across the Midwest and up into portions of New England throughout the day, with a chance of scattered rain showers in the south and in parts of the plains. Later on tonight, western and mountain states will see a mix of rain and snow as a cold front races in from the north. This front is expected to move in rapidly the early evening hours and into the night. Wait, no, sorry. Should I be doing this future tense or past tense? But this is today's forecast. I know, but there 
share in this segment tonight. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll just swing it. Today, we saw rain develop across the Midwest and up through New England. Of course, you already know that. <laughs> Seeing it as it happened already, scattered showers have also happened already in parts of the South and Plain States. So I suppose you already know that if it happened to rain in your region of the world, there will be, or currently is rather, a cold front that has a rapid descending, or rather is quickly descended into the Western and mountain states. If you're further north, then you probably know this by now, but hey, Las Vegas, it's coming your way later tonight. What time is this broadcast again? Never mind, Las Vegas, the full mentioned cold front that's coming into your area, it's coming in this very minute. Or, uh, uh, or maybe give it a minute and, and, and uh, just take a quick look outside, I guess. Or, um, well, <laughs> back to you, Bob. And that's today's weather tonight. Moving okay. on to our That's final segment, sports. Oh. <clears throat> Moving on to our final segment, sports. Here with us now from the Today's New Tonight Show sports desk is Bertha Wilson, another good friend, Bertie. Welcome, Bertie. Hey there, Bob. Glad to be here. Uh, but I'm sorry I have to tell you, I have some bad news to report. What's that, Bertie? I have nothing to report. Why is that? Well, as you know, we're following several live sporting events tonight, but none of them are quite finished yet. Turns out most sporting events are scheduled for nightly primetime viewing, and thus they're still all underway tonight. So we've no final scores to report to you just yet. The match between the Pacers and the Celtics are in the third quarter of play. Players from the University of Georgia and Nebraska are in their locker room at halftime. And of course, for our West Coast audience, the rivalry game between Hawaii and Northern Oregon has yet to tip off. So unfortunately, I've got nothing for you. Can we try again tomorrow night? No, this is today's news tonight. The people want to know the final scores. We need to see those highlight reels. Okay, how about this? I can give you yesterday's final scores tonight, but unfortunately, we don't have any highlight reels to go along with it since they happened yesterday and we've only started taping today. Well, tonight that is. No, no, that won't do. Well, I'm not sure what else I can offer you, Bob, unless it's tonight's highlight reels tomorrow. Just never mind. Thank you, Bertie. And that concludes our very first and possibly very last broadcast of today's news tonight. I'm Bob Katz, signing off and wishing you a very happy night and a much brighter today. Wait, no, that's a terrible sign off. How can it be a brighter today when it's already 